Hello and welcome to Titan HQ. In this video we will go through Web Titan Cloud. This is a domain group administrator level of access. This is multi-tenanted. You can onboard multiple domains, edit the domain policies. You can add administrators per domain also. You can view reporting, quarantine for all of your domains and also add whitelists and blacklists. You can have them apply to all of your domains or domains individually. You can even add them at a per user basis. When you log in, the dashboard is presented. This gives you an overview of all the mail that has passed through the system. To get up and running, the first thing you must do is add the domains you wish to filter. This is done on the settings Relay Settings tab. Here you add your domains. You simply click on Add, enter in the domain and the destination server. The destination server is the mail server for this domain or the 365 tenant. Port 25 is the default port. Recipient verification. The most commonly used one is dynamic recipient verification and LDAP. For dynamic, it is generally the same verification server as the destination server. When this is enabled, we send a probe to the mail server to see if the mailbox the mail is being sent to is genuine or not. If it is not, we drop the mail. If it is, we continue filtering. This helps against dictionary type attacks. You can enable and disable RBLs, SPF and grey listing at this level also. Click on save and your newly added domain will appear in this list. We would always recommend enabling quarantine reports. This is done on the anti-spam engine domain policies tab. You click edit to the right hand side of a domain and enable the quarantine report. Click apply and now a report will be sent to your users each day for this domain containing all mail that was marked as spam, virus and banned attachments. The end user cannot release quarantines, quarantined virus mails or quarantined banned attachments. They can release spam mail. The default threshold that we see mail marked as spam is five, but if you want to make your filtering stricter or less restrictive. The higher this number, the less restrictive the filtering is. The lower this number, the tighter the filtering is occurring. Five is the default, but this can be edited per domain and per user. At this level of access, you can also edit the content filtering. So this is the attachment file filters. We have a number of attachments that are banned, but you can allow these if you wish by editing and say allow, or you can add to this list. Zip files are not in here by default. So if this particular domain or a domain would like to block um, zips, you'd simply add and enter in zip and say allow or block. So you can edit these and add to these lists at a per domain and a domain group level. You can also create administrators for each of your domains you've created. So you'd simply click on add, enter in the email address for this administrator and which domain you would like them to be the administrator of. In your filter rules, these whitelists and blacklists would apply to all domains in your group. The quarantine tab shows you all mail that was marked as spam, virus, banned attachment, and so on. You can search these by recipient and sender, and you can also search for the subject line. We fully support wildcard searches, so a asterisk or a star is seen as the wildcard character. Reporting is quite important. This will show you all mail that has touched spam titan for your domains. 
You can search these for the sender, recipient, source IP, spam type and ID, and subject. Again, wildcards are fully supported. If it's particularly spam mail you're looking for, you can click on spam, click apply, and this will search for all mail that was marked as spam. Again, this is a domain group administrator level of access where you can onboard multiple domains, view reporting and quarantine, add domain administrators for each of these domains also. Once you've added a domain, all you need to do is change the MX records to point to spam titan and we will filter the mail from that point on. Thank you.